Hello, how much does your service cost? Hello, our mosquito control service starts at eighty nine dollars. Is one hundred. Do you have to be home for the service? No, you don't have to be home. We just. Oh, have amazing! Can I book an appointment? Absolutely. Could I please have your first name, last name? We recently built an AI voice receptions for a client. The whole project took only one week to complete. We built it using the OpenAI real-time API and we integrated it with Go High Level. The goal was to build this AI voice agent that can answer questions 24 seven. It can qualify leads, add leads to a CRM, in our case, those Go High Level, book appointments, has all the business knowledge so you can answer all the questions accurately. And then it can transcribe the calls and make those transcriptions available for you so you can track and see how the agent is doing and you can monitor everything. In this video, I wanna show you how you can build an efficient voice agent for your business. There are really two main challenges that voice agents are facing. One is latency. This means that the voice agents take time to reply. So when you call one AI, it's gonna take like five seconds to reply to your question and people start to notice that there's something wrong and the replies are very slow. The other problem is interruptions. Whenever you speak to one of those AIs, if you interrupt it, that's it. It goes completely south. It starts like hallucinating, starts mixing up information. It doesn't understand what you're, what you're saying. So that's like the two main problems. And we figured out some ways to optimize it and essentially completely solve them. So I'm going to go over this in this video. First, though, I want to give you an overview of the different approaches that exist when building AI voice agents so you can see what fits for you and I will explain what we picked actually. There is the OpenAI approach. So OpenAI has released their real-time API. It's like the state-of-the-art model right now. It's the most advanced AI voice agent that exists. The problem though is that it's pretty technical to, to use. Like you have to completely code the voice agent to make it work. Then there is another approach which is using existing platforms that are like code or low code platforms such as VAPI, Blend AI and others. If you go on the approach of using the platforms, what you have to understand is that those platforms orchestrate multiple different AIs together. If you take the example of VAPI, what it's doing actually is when you call a VAPI AI agent, it's going to take your voice, it's going to transcribe it into text using one AI, then it's going to send that text to another AI like ChatGPT, for example, which is going to reply with text. So it's kind of like a chat interaction, right? It receives text and it replies with text. And then there is a last, like a third AI, you can see in this diagram is 11 labs in this case, it's going to take the text and it's going to convert it into speech, into audio, which is then going to be sent back to the caller. And that's how the whole interaction is happening. Like everything that the caller is saying is going through those three steps with three different AIs. Obviously, this has a few limitations. One limitation is that there is an absence of empathy and emotions because from the moment you take a voice and you transcribe it into text you cannot completely accurately describe everything right because the transcript will not have the intonation the pace like the emotions so you're going to lose on this information the interruption handling can become complex because of the steps that the ai needs to go through in this orchestration then there are billing issues because you have three different ais that are operating and costs can vary same thing with reliability because you're using different ais in a chain it can become less reliable it's multiple integrations and the last part is that the latency is higher which means that you have increased response times it takes longer for the AI to respond to your questions. The OpenAI real-time approach is very different and it's actually a lot better. What it does is that it takes an audio from your voice, it treats that audio and it replies with audio back. So this is much closer to what a human is doing, right? You hear audio and then you reply with audio. That's why it's a lot more performant. It's direct speech to speech, faster response times, it preserves empathy and emotions, it understands it, it has a simplified billing because just one API, and then voice interruption handling is a lot better. And that's why we build our agents with the OpenAI real-time API. I'm gonna explain some optimizations we did to improve latency and interruptions handling even more. But first, if you want us to build an AI voice agent for your business, feel free to book a call. There is a link in the description. It's a free consultation call and we can help you implement a voice agent for your business. The first implementation that we did was around latency. We wanted to have latency faster because OpenAI by default, they have a pretty good latency. But once you start adding information about your business, especially if you have a lot of data, then the AI becomes slower because it has a lot of data that it needs to process. And there's two really approaches that you can do it is one, you can add all the data in the prompt if it's not too much, or if you have a lot of data, you can use a RAG architecture. We actually prefer the prompt because the prompt is gonna be faster, right? It's directly available data. So what we did for our client is we took the core information about their product and their service, so what the service is, what it does, how much does it cost, together with the frequently asked questions, with the FAQs. We gathered all of this data, we send that to an AI, we ask it to summarize it and give the most concise information about it without losing any core key information. We got that data and we used it as part of the prompt. 
This resulted in very efficient latency and the AI agent was able to answer all the queries from the user. If you have a large amount of information though for your business, then you need to use a RAG architecture. This will result in higher latency, so the speed is gonna be lower, but there is a way you can compensate that. So what we recommend is if you implement a RAG architecture, what you need to do is you're not gonna use it for every single request from the user, for everything that the user is saying, because then you're gonna slow down the entire conversation. What you wanna do is if you cannot answer the request of the user based on what is already included in the prompt, then you're gonna make a function call to your database to retrieve the data that it needs. So that's how you can optimize latency in this case. The second optimization we did was around interruptions because the OpenAI Real-Time API by default, it doesn't handle interruptions actually. The voice agents are gonna continue speaking. So in order to do this, we added this piece of code. Like I'm not gonna go like too technical into it, but basically it's a code that tells the voice agent to stop speaking whenever the user is trying to interrupt it, whenever the caller is trying to interrupt it. And this works remarkably well. The last optimization was around transcription. So we wanted the transcripts for every call to be available and stored inside of Go High Level, inside of the CRM, so that you have full visibility on how the conversations are going, how the, the voice agent is interacting with people. So like you see here, you have the agent, you have the user, and you can track and see easily how the conversation went. And then at the bottom, you see that you have like the day and the hour when the phone call took place. Now I wanna show you a demo of the voice agent with different voices because you can actually change the tone and the conversation and just how the agent is speaking based on the use case that you have for your business. So this one is gonna be a female voice. This call will be recorded for quality purposes. Hi, this is Alex, your virtual assistant. How can I help? Hello, could you give me more information about your services? Absolutely. We offer mosquito and pest control services. Mosquito control starts at $89 with treatments every three weeks and one-time treatments for special events. How pest efficient control. is this treatment? Our treatments are highly effective. For mosquitoes, it typically takes two to three treatments for full Could I book an appointment? All right, let's try with another voice now. I'm basically just changing the voice here, saving, then I'm gonna run the agent again, and you'll see. So now it's gonna be a different voice. Hi, this is Alex, your virtual assistant. How can I help? Hello, um, how much does your service cost? Hello, my mosquito control service starts at $89. We also offer additional services like tick and fly control. Would you like more details? Uh, no, I'm good, thank you. Great, if you're ready to get... I can show you another voice now. Hi, this is Alex, your virtual assistant. How can I help? Hey Alex, could you tell me more information about your services? Of course, we offer mosquito control with treatments every three weeks, no long-term contracts, and one-time treatments for events. Pest control includes a 12-month contract with barrier 360 mm. treatments for multiple Got pests. it, got it, got it. Perfect, thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. If you need any more info, just let me know. That was it. If you want us to build a voice agent like this for your business, like I said, feel free to book a call. Happy to talk. There's a link in the description. Thank you for watching.